Hi there. It's Paula from Jerusalem. I mean, I don't live here. I'm just at school here. And I'm walking through the streets to get to school. Uh, actually, it's it's a nighttime. Uh, it's not nighttime yet, but it's a... Uh, it's about quarter to five and I'm heading to HUC campus in order to do a little nighttime to Yule. We're doing a special thing where I'm in a group that's going to go to uh, grab a taxi and go to a, a nature spot, um, a Ma'ayan, a water source. And I'm really looking forward to it because um, I like running water, springs, and uh, I, uh, I like the vacation aspect. I'm just passing by this, uh, can you see this? Wait, can you see it? Where is it? There it is. This is a fire hydrant here in Jerusalem, or typical all over Israel. Cool. Um, there's a new building up here on my right. Wasn't here last time we were here. It's amazing all the building that's going on here in Jerusalem. And uh, what's nice about this very large building is that instead of obliterating kind of the cool views you can have, when you get to the center, there's these cut throughs. You see that one? And you can see through when the building you're seeing there with the little dome is part of the MCA or the YMCA here in Jerusalem. And uh, my school, HUC, it's right near the, uh, it's on King David Street, right near the YMCA in Jerusalem. And the YMCA is of course across from the famous King David Hotel. Just take a look over there. The kind of building that's going on in Jerusalem. It's pretty cool. It's summer here in Israel. So uh, unlike Canada where the weather could be different every day, the weather's exactly the same every single day. Clear blue sky. Look at that. It's completely clear. Hot but uh, very dry here in Jerusalem. I love this old wall here. This is like an older wall that I'm walking along and at the top, you can see, there's old broken bottles cemented into the top to keep people from uh, going over the side. I saw a lot of that in, in um, South America, in Cali, Colombia, where I lived and taught for a year. Kind of old school and the bottles that are up there. Um, Jordan and I were noticing some of them are uh, Tempo bottles. That was kind of like the soda pop of Israel back when we used to be here in the early 80s. Separate times, of course. Uh, so, just crossed the street there, but it's a really quiet street, so I wasn't really worried about paying much attention. One of the things you notice in Jerusalem, well, Tel Aviv as well, all over Israel, are the uh, population of uh, street cats, wild cats. I'm just going to turn my camera around and show you one. Just wander down the street. They're always going to cross the street. Can you see them? Black and white one. They're, you never see fat cats because they're kind of on their own. They, uh, people don't have really, not many people have domestic cats, but I have seen a lot of um, dogs 